is going on, everybody? My name is Jacob Forster. Welcome back to Alan Wake 2. We are continuing our series here, getting through the story of Saga and Alan Wake. If you haven't seen the last two episodes, make sure you go watch it. There's an Alan Wake playlist here for you all to check out. At the current moment, we have recently gotten our clicker so that we can hopefully shift reality a bit better and start to shape this world a little differently. Um, right now, I need to get back to... Get back to my car. That's all I need to do. <laughs> so I need to figure out where the exit was. I think I need, yeah, I need to go back to the gift shop. No, 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 no. Hold on. There's actually a much faster way for this. I just remembered. <laughs> Where's my exit? Right over yonder. Yeah, so been having so much fun with this game. And... See a latte. Thanks, game. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, I've been having so much fun with this. It's been so good. Oh. Come on, Casey. No answer. I think David. I can go back this way. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. We Please. last saw that Saga found out Why that her reality is shifting. Is Logan all right? How and does that this all work? Has Logan. Story already gotten her. Her child. We should know. Don't forget to use Janner's bucket in the Janner's break room to alternate between characters. Ellen and Saga's stories can be played in whatever order you choose. Cool. Um, yeah, I might actually switch back to Ellen for the start of this. this I do not know. Quick. That did, the that was very cool. I should look around, see where the water was hiding. Oh, okay. Um, interesting. Should I go back over here? Yeah, let's check this out real quick. Uh, but yeah, her child is apparently deceased in this reality, was drowned, or at least that's the implication that it's giving us. So, kind of checking in to see how this is changing, seeing what else might be going on in Saga's timeline. Um, I mentioned it in the last video, uh, I played through a lot of this Coffee World section when I went to the uh, in-person event for Alan Wake. Uh, but I, I mean, I played it for a very long time, but I only got halfway through it. So a lot of what I played through and a lot of what you all saw is uh, parts of it I have not experienced. So. It's good to see that even though I got like a long time to kind of play through the game and check it out, most of it was like most of this game is still undiscovered for me, which is really cool. Dude, this guy is <laughs> burned up. Oh, you were in the sauna, weren't you? <laughs> no, I can't go down there. Darn. What about this little this little thingy? <gasps> a manuscript page? I love me some manuscript pages. Cool. Let's go ahead and take a look. See what it is. Bailey ran around the corner as the street lamps flickered and went off. It was in front of him. A glitching cloud. A dark boiling monster. Looking at it felt like what a stroke must feel like. He was sick with fear. He fell. The dark presence ripped into him. Swallowed him. Filled his lungs and his brains with dark water. Bailey saw a snarling face in the darkness. Then he realized it was his own face. He was snarling. He was standing in the street, in the dark, and he was snarling. He was snarling. He snarled. The monster was gone. The darkness coiled around him in tatters and wisps. He was the monster now, filled with rage. He was the monster now, filled with rage, he shouted. Huh. Interesting commentary. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, let's go back to the car. I'm not going for a, like, a completionist run or anything. So if anybody's looking for me to be like, Oh my gosh, Jacob, you missed a, a thingy over here in this little section after the water went down. Eh, leave me alone. <laughs> I'm not going for 100%. I'll probably do it in my own time. This is so far, like, honestly, so far, this is, like, one of my favorite games. And I definitely will be getting a bit more playtime. Um... Oh yeah, where do I want to go? I guess... Spray Falls? Let's go ahead and jump on over. Get a little drive in. 
Okay. Very silent drive, apparently. <laughs> Elderwood Palace Lodge. Where history meets hospitality. Alan Wake. Hmm, Casey. My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. Oh, oh no. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Oh, my head's killing me. Poor Alan. He's so confused. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Still <laughs> my coffee. <laughs> I think you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground. And I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. Hmm. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. Uh oh. I just the cult to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up. Get down! FBI! <laughs> we want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! <laughs> Shit. I'd love it if they did a Alex Casey hey. like spin-off portion. I know they have Max Payne, which is like it is, but isn't. <laughs> Scratch! It's close! Stay down! Wait! I need a gun! No chance! <laughs> no chance! I love that kind of visual effect that they do for for scratch and also the the death animation whenever Alan ends up losing we end up losing it's pretty cool <gasps> deer mask hmm uh oh I don't think it's supposed to be floating like that return for no chance oh by the way I got uh my final my final package from uh from Remedy and Epic yesterday. And it's really cool. They gave me a, a deer mask, like a, a really nice quality one. Uh, the double triangle necklace uh, and a couple other little little random tidbits. But it's cool to, so cool to get all these little things. Ew. Grody. Going straight back into Alan. So it seems like the game kind of likes to line up the story for you. Because I know you can the dark place. switch back and forth. So but. the dark presence. Scratch. He was oh. here in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head. Stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? Hmm. What did he want? Interesting. Uh but yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got I got the mask. Get out of here. I got their overcoat. Uh, the necklace and uh, a note as well, which was, which was really cool. 
Gross. What is... Ew. <laughs> pumpkin. Need your pumpkin. Uh, so just find Casey. Main task. Do I have any equipment? No, I have nothing right now. Do I even have a, do I have a flashlight? So this is cool. Our first time getting to play as Alan outside of the dark place. Okay, so it seems like there's only one place to go. It is this way. Ooh. I love I love the, the way that they utilize colors in this game. It's really beautiful. I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. Hmm. Please wait to be seated. <laughs> but I can't wait. I must move. Sorry, I'm just so enamored with the environments here. I, I really do enjoy looking around. Oh gosh. I wonder if Casey took them all out. I need to protect myself. Flashlight! Yeah! I've got a flashlight. Nostalgic. <laughs> Ooh! Shoddy! <laughs> Yippee ki <-yay. laughs> No ammo, of course. If I can find any ammo in the uh, <laughs> the bushes, maybe the trash can. No, <laughs> highly doubt it. Oh, I do have two shots in here actually. Casey, That's Casey. missed. He was still alive. <gasps> oh, whoa! <laughs> What in the... Move! Move, Alan! <laughs> what? <laughs> Get over here. Get over here. Ooh! Bye-bye! <gasps> Dodge! Smack him! Smack him! I don't have weapons or ammo! Is this gonna work? Come on, keep going, keep going. What are you what are you what are you talking about? What are you even talking about, dude? I'm gonna keep smacking you. <laughs> Smack him! Smack him! Dude, his chest is just pure blood. Disgusting. Is his arm? His arm! Ooh. Okay, I think I need to find some ammo. <gasps> little box, little box. Go, 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 go. Don't forget to use safe haven side for enemies and receive help uh, during combat. Oh! <laughs> great start, a great start here. <laughs> okay, well then let's try that again. Oh no. Okay, at least I know. At least I know there's a big bad guy right here. That didn't work? Oh no. Oh no. Oh, the light didn't work. Okay, I need to find a flashlight ASAP. Technically in a safe zone. Where did the dark presence not discriminate? Hello, friend. Right in the chest. Right in the face. <laughs> oh, his head is gone. <laughs> sprint, Alan. Sprint, please. Oh, hi. We just gotta keep moving. The pressure in my head was unbearable. The scratch was getting closer. Stronger than ever. Okay. okay, they can't come into the light. They can't come into the light. So we just gotta move between the light. Maybe get some ammo on the way. Look out! Can you see? Scratch it! Ooh, ooh. Ooh. Okay, scratch is coming. This is terrifying. Oh, the pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey, okay. 
Interesting. Casey. Casey. Casey, I'm coming. Casey. Casey, don't don't die, Casey, please. Weird. Saga. Oh no. FBI, drop the knife. Elmo? What? Saga, you don't understand. Ilmo? <laughs> Control. Federal Bureau of Control. <laughs> we'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. What? This is bullshit. Noted. <laughs> Moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Interesting. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Huh. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. my partner, damn it. Agent. I be Go home. Careful, moving quick. <laughs> they think he's a para utilitarian. No. <laughs> Fuck. Para utilitarian. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Hmm. End of chapter. Okay, wow. Very quick one. Very, very quick one. Good to see. We watch the nights. So, uh, the Remedy Twitter, they're mentioning all these songs are actually whitelisted, which means they're safe for YouTube and streaming and stuff like that. So, I don't need to be super careful about any of that. They might know how it works. Okay, straight back to Saga. Case, but I can still visit family. Talk to the Andersons. Go to Valhalla Nursing Home in Bright Falls Woods. <gasps> Hello? Hello? Saga, it's Tor, your grandfather. Tor? About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. We have bigger problems. Hmm. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. <laughs> Weird. Something is off at that nursing home. Hot tea in the janitors. So I'm I'm so confused. Um, <clears throat> I really want to figure out like what's going on with all the residents becoming members of the cult. And even Ilmo was like, "You don't understand. Like you don't understand what's going on here." So I it, I'm still curious like how they're justifying themselves for this, or if they do actually have something good to them. Anyway, the Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flopped to be their farewell tour. Cut short. Cancelled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler, had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance slays the demon. A couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His mind grain flared. Booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran, ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Okay. I like getting these manuscript pages. Uh, do I have anything important in the shoebox? Uh, uh, no, I think I'm okay. So I got four trauma pads. Um, propane tanks. I haven't really needed these. I have no ammo for this. Uh, you know what? Let's, let's bring one one of these over, so I can always, in case I fight something big and bad. You know what, let's try this out. Let's try switching the reality. Because I haven't had a chance to, to do this at all. So we're going back to the dark place. Yeah. Okay. I was back. I wasn't able to escape. A dark presence had stopped me. 
Initiation Draft 2. Okay. Cool. So it seems like uh, I may be completely... Return. I may... It's hard to do commentary when Alan just keeps going. Um, I, I feel as though, like, there's a strange connection between Saga and Alan. I'm... Uh, obviously, I, I wonder... They, they obviously have a connection in the game, which is very obvious, but I wonder if that connection goes deeper. The plot Something. board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. The slaughter. The last draft of initiation had brought me to my writer's room, but not the one where I was writing now. A different reality? A different time? I had died in the end. Again, the dark presence had killed me. But something had changed now. My memories of what happened were not eaten away. There had been another manuscript there. The title page read, Return. Had I written it, but then forgotten about it? It felt important. It was important. Okay. So, what are my goals just to write? Got it. Let's sit down at our old typewriter. I will write a new draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out for the dark place to get Alice. She was out. It's still in danger. Once we get through some of these cutscenes, I'm gonna go back into the settings. I'm trying to figure out if I can increase the voice voiceover work. Back to the show. Interesting. Welcome. Our guest tonight is Alan Wood. This time he wanted to do something. I was back. We sing Initiation 4. I knew how this worked now. I could take control. No more surprises. Okay, let me see. Let me see if there are settings for audio for the voice. Yeah, dialogue volume. Why is it technically lower? Okay, hopefully that will fix it for some of the the details. I love how awkward he just looks standing there. <laughs> the song is called Herald of Darkness, but I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. <laughs> Oh no. Oh no. This is oh this is gonna be good, isn't it? <laughs> ah, okay, so this is where we can switch back and forth now. Got it, got it, got it. Anything any goodies in here? Also, I really like Alan's uh, little satchel back here. Okay, inventory's almost full, but no, we're not doing too bad. Oh please let there be a full on musical number. <laughs> this is gonna be great. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> From what I've gathered, you grew up nice and sheltered with mama's pretty stories, and you all made up what is happening? <laughs> okay, I guess we gotta go this way. <laughs> this is this is definitely ten out of ten game. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is this I uh, please tell me this is the entire chapter. So you were drawn to stories early on. My dreams would light up my imagination. And you had nightmares. Oh, 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 oh! Okay, 
I guess I gotta go around them. <laughs> Wait, what am I actually doing right now? Am I just watching this? <laughs> I am. Act scared. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing game. Amazing game. <laughs> This is incredible. This is incredible. Are we doing it again, please? <laughs> and the award goes to Alan, Alan Wake? Wake? Oh, thank you, thank you. I couldn't have done it without my friends, my Those family. Of crime and chilling thrillers <laughs> Mr. Door? Okay, well, let's keep moving, I guess. It was all Ooh. too much I had to get. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> what am I supposed to do right now, though? I guess we're just watching. Oh, the ladder. Okay. Let's go, Alan. Oh, look at that. Look at that beautiful face. <laughs> Okay, I'm assuming I'm supposed to... Oh! Oh? Interesting. <laughs> just the... <laughs> just the pure art direction that it took to... Come up with this, create this. This is wild. Oh, are we just gonna be in New York once we're done with this? Oh, I think we are. <laughs> Getaway club. Can I interact with the phone? But there is more to it than meets the eye. I never meant for it to ruin my life. That so sad. The cameras. Okay, let's keep following our signs, I guess. <laughs> the dance sequences. Oh. Casey, Alex Casey. Oh, hello. You die here. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know <no>, you. <laughs> Oh, this is... this is incredible. Come on, bring it! <laughs> Alright, let's... let's go this way, I guess. Bring the light here. Oh. Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> I, I really hope this is the entire chapter. It's just musical sequences. <laughs> Very glad I switched back to Alan. Welcome to Bright Falls. Please? Oh, much more somber musical this time. Reflection. <laughs> Belt it out, Alan. Belt it out. One shot, one more 
<laughs> I'm just I'm just watching this in in utter shock right now. <laughs> I don't even know anymore. I don't even know anymore. <clears throat> Back to the typewriter. And a flare gun? <gasps> oh yeah, light shining. Cheap and unlocked. <laughs> I love this so much. I guess we go this way? Oh yeah, little arrow. Hi? Oh yeah! Oh yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is good stuff. This is the good stuff right here. Oh! Don't you dare. <laughs> okay, let's go back to our pistol. Oh! Hell yeah. More flare ammo, awesome. Oops. Crap. Amazing. Amazing. Okay, they're gonna keep giving us flare gun ammo. We're gonna use it. <laughs> oh, I love this. Where's it says wait for solo? <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> oh, where did you come from, buddy? <laughs> Don't you do it! <laughs> Enemies. Right in the face. Let's go. Okay, batteries. No more flare ammo, though, unfortunately. <laughs> Hello. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, dodge it. Blast them. Double it up. I'm bad with aiming on that flashlight. Get out of here. <laughs> no! Ow. Equip it. Equip it! Run! Oh no! <laughs> I didn't have any more ammo. Oh, okay, we're just going back here. Oh, no, how far back are we? <laughs> how far back are we? No! No, it's so far back! Okay, well... <laughs> Let's do this again, why don't we? This is, this is such a joy to play. This is hilarious. I love the flare gun. This is amazing. Okay, grab these bad boys. Okay. 
I know they want me to use the flare gun. Okay. But I'm not getting enough ammo for it. Lake this way. Hello. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm it down, buddy. Calm down. Oh, oh, oh. Get up! Get up! Oh my gosh! Move! Move, Alan. Move, Alan. Move. Equip it. <laughs> Why is this so difficult? <laughs> Got him. Okay, drum pad, go. My goodness. Okay, um... Oh, it's, it's equipped to number three. Oh, okay, good, good, good. <laughs> I love this. I love this so much. I'm going back to the flare gun. Got six shots on it. Diver's Isle. Oh, hello. Oh, oh! <laughs> Sorry, dude. Okay, I'm going to heal again. I don't want to die in the the, <laughs> the the jam zone. That's not the right weapon. There we go. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Just the amount, the overwhelming amount of... Oh. Oh. Safe zone. Oh my gosh, safe zone. <laughs> the overwhelming amount of music and then fighting people and having to focus on all this stuff is... Is a bit crazy. It's a bit crazy. But I, I really, I really love it. Uh, I'm gonna quick slot this to number four. And I'm gonna quick slot this also to number four. I don't really know how that works. I guess if you press it twice. Maybe it will... Yes, okay. Now I understand. Back to you. <clears throat> so I only have, what, one more shot in that flare gun? Until maybe I get some more ammo for it. We got the typewriter again, we got our TV. <laughs> Hello? Okay, back here. In between with Mr. Doa. <laughs> that was great. That was great. That was interesting. <laughs> Crackers! I love a good cracker. The hard boiled diet. Donuts. Pretzel sticks, chips. Delicious. Um a quick note before I forget to say it. Something I've noticed uh, with kind of everything going on with Alan, uh, at the very, I think it was the very beginning of the game, and 
obviously since we've seen these random sequences, there's always a scene with Alan having a hull and a light coming out of his forehead, um, which makes me believe that at some point, Great. Uh, he maybe tried to finish himself uh, due to being stuck in the dark place. Oh, there's one in here. So I'm curious how that relates. Oh, oh, oh. Such a dark place, am I trapped in here? Is this real? I can't remember. Was a manuscript that held the key? Oh. <laughs> the dancers and everything. Again and again until I figure it out to bring this song to end. Amazing. Amazing. My case board. Or uh my manuscript board. So musical songs and the final chorus brings the song to its climactic end. So let's rewrite this, why don't we? This is great. This is great. <laughs> I can just imagine all the fun that these actors went through creating all this. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Absolutely amazing. This is this is my favorite. This is my favorite. <clears throat> and I thought this place couldn't get any stranger. <laughs> Auntie. Mm, champion of fly. <laughs> Catchy, right? Mm, herald of darkness. <laughs> Lost in the Incredible. All right, Auntie. Good to see you again. Talk to you later. End of part. Okay. All his life. That was that was definitely the greatest chapter of this game. <laughs> nothing will top that. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that was lovely. That was absolutely lovely. Let's uh to get a quick save in here. Shoebox? Nothing in the shoebox. Good. Uh, it looks like I need to recalibrate where everything was uh, quick slotted. Let's put you number three here. Uh, let's quick slot you into four. And then quick slot you into four as well. Uh, first aid kit. I guess I can quick slot you over here. And then you I'll quick slot to here because probably wait for a better thing. A flashbang. Uh, I guess a quick slot you here. Sure, sure. <clears throat> okay. Do I want to continue in Allen's? I think so. Oh, oh yeah. It was back to New York. Me. This performance, the dark place was putting on, but I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. Sweet. Back to the phone. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I I had had to find out more. Okay. Hello, who is this? Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You oh fuck me. <clears throat> Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me. How much 
much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? I'm trying yeah. to recognize the voice. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh man, this is what we're after. This is supposed to be like his publicist? <laughs> or something? Survival. The survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. <gasps> yes. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Yes. Remember, the dark place works in lobes and rituals. Amazing. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. Amazing. We go with the flow of this ocean. <clears throat> So if anybody is not familiar with Control, there is an incredible location called the, the Ocean View Hotel. Motel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. Yes. So this is a, di a direct relation to Control's Ocean View Motel. Uh, and this is actually one of the, the other View sections Hotel. that I got to play. My uh, early on. Didn't get to finish this mission, but I got to play through a good chunk of this hotel, so I'm excited to be back in here. This this is a really cool, cool area. So I hope you all enjoy. Ooh. Meet the mystery caller a at the ocean. That delivered me back to the street. View hotel? What did the mystery caller said? If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. Cool. The Mirror Peak Bar. Oh, hello. It's hunting me. It's hunting me. Do I do like watching these. I'd rather watch them in the moment than after the fact. Also gives me a moment to have a little sippy sip of my hashtag not sponsored Coke Zero. Right behind me. <laughs> this game really, I'm gonna go on a mini rant here. I really wish I had the latest graphics card. I'm running an RTX 3090, a great graphics card. Uh, this game looks beautiful. Um, I'm, sadly, I cannot run in 4K with ray tracing. Um, I, I did a little bit of experimenting on it when I f was first starting to do the recording, but the ray tracing is gorgeous in this game. I wish I had the... <laughs> this makes me really want to go out and buy an RTX 4090, which is so much money. Um, but so I could play this at max settings plus ray tracing. But I'd rather it look smooth and beautiful rather than uh, gorgeous and choppy for everybody here. Oh. <gasps> Another cutscene. Oh, Casey again. Hello. What are you doing, Alan? I was dead tired. I just wanted it to be over. Hmm. It was all my fault. I'd had this dark place in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there. Like it was the way you were supposed to feel. This is really interesting because in his death is always I written. The dark place, the source of it all, the vessel, <gasps> me and the writer, we were the same. This place. 
place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. Huh. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again. Easy. Room 665. Initiation 5. Perfect. Uh, yeah, the, Casey's death is, like, written into this place. So it's interesting to, like, to see, uh, <laughs> like, when things, like, the different ways that he ends up dying. It's very bizarre. Also, I don't know if I'm supposed to have three charges on this light. It's making my life a little easy, I think. It's a mirror peak. I need to follow the mirror peak. The twin peaks, in fact. <laughs> I feel like to, 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 like, fully, like, you can have so much appreciation for this game, but to have, like, a full-on appreciation for Alan Wake, having watched or experienced David Lynch, while I explain this, I'm going to look up the controls for turning the flashlight on and off. Flashlight. B. Flashlight toggle. E? E? There's no way it's E. It's been E the whole time? <laughs> I've just been using the ability to bring it back out. Oh no. <laughs> well, I should have checked that sooner then, shouldn't I? I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, oh yeah. Get some ammo. What was I even saying? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> oh yeah, you can always have an appreciation for this game. Just its style, the art, everything that's going on with it. But like to have an even deeper appreciation, having an understanding of like David Lynch, Twin Peaks, uh, the obviously other games in their repertoire, Control, the original Alan Wake, uh, even Quantum Break. I never got a chance to play that, but I know there's some references within the shared universe. Um, hello again. Go away, thank you. Alan Wake. Alan Wake. I love these shadow figures, they're really cool. It really helps to aim first, and then use the flashlight, because... <laughs> You're the real deal. Ooh. That was a good dodge. That was a good dodge. That was a really good dodge. Oh, hello again. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm just gonna move. I'm just gonna move. I'm not. Uh, it's a survival horror. You can't fight every single thing and keep all of your stuff intact. Intact. <laughs> all of your inventory items. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. I'm just an innocent writer. <laughs> I need to find more words of power, by the way. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. 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 Oh. 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 Safe room. Safe room. Oh. Little coffee time. <laughs> Wet floor sign. <gasps> but where's my transfer? My transfer is not here. Okay, I'm almost full in my inventory. So keep that in mind. <laughs> Deeper. Oh! <Whoa>! Gosh. <laughs> this game uh, it does a, a really great job of actually staying pretty terrifying at certain moments. Um, it's down here. Is that another eclipse little thing? It is. Wait, how do I... Wait, where am I going right now? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, what is this? Is this leading me to a word of power? It is! <gasps> It is! Let's go! Gun words! 
Words of gun! Perfect. Uh, words of gun. Sunny skies. Flare gun, flare gun projectiles area of effect 25. Uh, we Oh, we're already done with that one. Yeah, let's do the flare gun. Flare gun is pretty awesome. Oh, didn't mean to be here. Cool. Glad I explored over here. There's a lot of different things I can do at the current moment. So I can go down further. Uh, I could have gone in the door. I could use one of my lights to turn on the thing. And then I can also go up and over here. Which does lead to another thing. This city will suck you dry if you stay here for too long. You'll end up a lost soul haunting the streets and alleys. A faded out shadow glimpsed by some other poor bastard on his way toward the same fate. Your broken dreams become a broken mirror, and the twisted reflection staring back at you with all the pent-up anger, regret, guilt, and shame was the monster you could never get away from. Cool. I always have a, a great appreciation for Max Payne. I know I randomly talked about it uh, while playing this. I never personally... What is this? Oh, the whole word of power there. Lamp. I never personally got to play it, uh, but growing up, my brother, uh, my oldest brother, he had a PlayStation, I think it was PlayStation 2, maybe, definitely 2. Uh, and he always kept it in, he had like a kind of a bigger closet. So he like had a little TV and the PlayStation in there. And we were too young to play it. Uh, but my brother was old enough to get it his, himself and he would play through Max Payne. And I always remember uh, sitting there and watching it, and there's like this really, really creepy scene in the game where, I don't, I don't remember the specifics, but there's like a baby crying, like other things happening, and I remember that being so frightening and terrifying. And it was like such a, such an early memory of like horror elements in games for me. So it's, it's, a, it's a strange connection for me. Um, regain flashlight charge on killing an enemy. Hmm. Stun enemies on flashlight boost. 5% max health when using flashlight boost on hostile shadow. I'm gonna do this. Cause I feel like having some health return is gonna be gonna be pretty good. So So these triangles lead to those triangles. So what happens if I hit the light? Lead somewhere else. So let's bring it back. Let's go through, see where this takes me. Got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it I does. I see the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. Oh, got it. Oh, oh, okay, okay. I see. I see. So now I made stairs to get up there. So I need to get over there at the Ocean View Hotel. So what happens when I turn this to red? This takes me. The lights affected where the door led to. Right here. Okay. Cool. Now crap, there was a whole another section over there. What is this? Gotcha, that gets rid of the stairs. Um I'll take that back. Oh, oh. Oh, uh, you know what? Here, I'm. Um, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna do the little back and forth real quick. Please don't hate me, because <laughs> I do want to see what was going on in the other little section. Because this is the way to go officially. Uh, but I want to go down here because there was a whole another pathway of something. I, I really don't know what. Unless this just takes me back where I came from, I, I doubt it. Hey, Alan. Oh, okay, good. Glad I came here. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> yeah, how's it good? going? Hey, Tim. Cozy place you got here. 
you know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Oh. Yeah, she's my cousin. Interesting. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. I'm trying to, okay. So Deerfest is still a thing. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. <laughs> Funny, me too. Hmm. You have a file what on Dor? What was the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Dor went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. That's cool. I never right. found any official records of a Warland Dor living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. Very strange. Very interesting. So even more details from previously. Door went missing in 1988. Age has not aged. Longevity? Not human. Alien? Magic? Uncle Frank would have known more, but he is dead. Not his real name. Hidden meaning. Remember I was at the morgue. So we got this already. We've seen this. Um, we've seen most of that. Dreams. Me but not me. We've seen, we've seen that too as well. Oh, didn't mean to go there. And then this map. Ah, dark place map. Sweet. Thanks, Tim. Appreciate you. Give me some goodies while I'm here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, inventory is officially full. I should start using some of my gear. My goodness, I can't believe I tried everything except pressing E. <laughs> Hello. Okay, so there's another word of power over here, but there's also a save station. Right here. Oh wait, no, I've been here. Oh, okay. Gosh. So wait, where am I missing uh, this word of power? Oh my gosh, it's right there. Is it? It is. It's literally right there. How, mm, how do I do it? Wait, what? I'm wasting all my ammo too. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Now, okay. Don't quite know how to get that one, unfortunately. And that's that's okay, I guess. That's okay. Okay, turn back into the red door. No, 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 no. This was the correct door. Got it. Okay, well, I guess we'll just ignore that word of power. As much as I really don't want to, we need to get to the Ocean View Hotel. I gotta remember to add the H, not the M. Sweet. Gonna get something cool in here. I could use that shotgun. Oh yeah. Oh, I don't have space. <laughs> oh no, I don't have space. Crap. Uh, okay, let's work with our inventory real quick. Um, I'm assuming the shotgun takes two spots. So... Uh, I have three of these. I'm going to use one. I'm going to use one. I know I don't need to use it for full health, but I'm going to use it. <gasps> How much space does it need?
really? It needs four spaces? It does. Oh no. <laughs> Crap. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Well, what do I do? Uh Okay, hold on. Just wasted a bunch of stuff that I didn't need to waste apparently. I need to go oh. I need to go all the way back, don't I? <laughs> Cuz I need the shotgun. I really need the shotgun. Hang tight, hang tight. Scratch. I really need to find extra bag uh, thingies for Alan. Cause this is this is tough. This is getting tough doing some of this inventory management. Oh hello. Oops. Didn't mean to press that. It's cool, it's cool. Little shoebox. Let's move. Um, I'm gonna move both of these because I don't need this much. Move both of these too, just so I have a little extra room. Um, yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. So if I need it at any point, gosh, yeah. So now if I need it at any point, I can just go back to a safe room, grab some extra healing items. I've been pretty good. I, I feel like I've been doing pretty good on health related stuff. So it shouldn't be too bad. Shouldn't be too bad. Ugh. Okay. Shoddy time? Very excited. I like the bar menu items, by the way. Manhattan oh, Lake on the Rocks. Ocean View cocktail, old fashioned gin twist. Twenty-five dollars. I guess this is New York, huh? Oops. Please. Please. Oh my gosh! Thank you. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, anything else in here before I leave? Nope. Cool. Very cool. Oh wait, give me that, give me that back. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Dude was slashing at me. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, I missed. Secret words. Yikes. Yikes. Whew. Okay, back to pistol. For now. What? Oh. Try a new Ocean View cocktail. Oh. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> How much was it? <laughs> I didn't even bother looking at that. Ocean View cocktail. $25.50. Got it. <laughs> That's good. $25.50. Let's go get it. Let's go get it. Okay. Two, five, five, zero. Yeah, awesome. Into the hotel. Love the way this whole place looks. Oh, this is so nice being able to dynamically turn on and off my flashlight. Makes it a lot easier. Get to enjoy all this beautiful coloration. The Dark Place, Ocean View Hotel. Cool. Let's see where this takes us. Though. Room 665 key. Oh, yeah. The room 
closet. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played? Play me. Oh, hello! It's me once more! Another musical number, perchance? <laughs> Surely not. Cool. Room 665. like the uh, rusty lake room <laughs> hello <laughs> is that us in this temple Shadow and mist. <laughs> There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing. Am I standing still or running or kneeling? I like the dedication of shaving all the facial hair for this. Calling me. Indeed. Oh. I'm Tom Zane. Oh. Welcome to the house of Zane. So ourself has been calling us. The diver. You look like me. How the hell? Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. <laughs> the diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker, a celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix your drink. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Creaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room, in this room. What is happening? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> what is going on in this game? I need the clicker. It's returned because we returned. This is ridiculous. This is the most ridiculous game I've ever played. <laughs> and that is how the magic happened. It all happened in this room. Bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. The real New York. Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. Before the Scratch. Site. You're in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. Oh. Hello? Ah! Ah! That was the doctor from Control. And Alice? If anyone asked, I think you were never here. <laughs> She's crawling away on the floor. <laughs> yeah, that was the doctor from Control. Uh, gosh, what is his name again? We saw it uh, last episode. Zane his book. Ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. The word. Whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. 
a murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get, he said, looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. All right, let's take the elevator. Beep, beep. I would start at the entrance lobby. <clears throat> Man, I'm just going to be playing with the, the flashlight button this whole time now. <laughs> Can't believe it took me this many hours. Entrance, entrance hall, new scene. The mood cool. Everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. Here we go. It's the wrong angle. Oh, I need to go back behind. Got it, got it, got it. <laughs> so, so you were the director of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. Oh, they're the ones who the discovered uh, is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh, the murders at the beginning. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater, a play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. Mm. We were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. Okay. Sweet. So we got our plot pieces. Let's go ahead and put this together. Uh, not the map. Plot board. I was both solving the crime and creating it. As I did. Ah, cool. That 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 this whole transition thing will never cease to amaze layers me. Upon layers. A play about a murder cult infiltrated by a real murder cult. Everyone is invited to the pre-show ritual in the ballroom. Oops. Okay, I see some uh box here of goodies. Let's grab this real quick. Some more boulets. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Snackies. Locos chips. Like Doritos. Dairy cream, swirl. Got some European chocolates in there. Sweet. And safe room? Yeah, cool. Quick save and anything in here? Nah. Don't need to worry about my shoebox either. Oh, hi. Come out of nowhere. Oh, you're real. Wow. I will eat you alive. Thought that was going to do it. <laughs> Shouldn't have reloaded. There we go. Okay, I'm going to line up these shots. Take a little extra time. Because three to the head is better than six to the body. I'm wasting so much ammo. Room 112. What's in room 111? Ooh, ooh, toolbox. What's in here? Oh, yeah. More goodies. Thank you. I feel like I should uh, take one of these these pills real quick. It's a quick one. Frees up some of my inventory space. It's going to be helpful, I think. Is that more shotgun? Yeah. Oh, did I not equip? No, I did not. Okay, Um, let me go ahead and set this to a quick slot. So I'll put that right here. There we go. There we go. I really need to work on this for mid-action fighting. Because this gets a little tricky at times. Final the scene. The end New of the scene. corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Room Something 108. terrible would happen there. So final scene. The end of the story. This murder site. What horror lies waiting there? Pre-show ritual. 
Hmm, still blocked off. <gasps> but what is this? The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. Cool. Move these props from room 104 to 225 for the later use in the ballroom play. The troop were busy building their own wicker man, where they themselves would be sacrificed. Please go away. Thank you. So creepy. Interesting all these symbols. Am I gonna have to remember these at some point? Room 104. Room 104. Here we go. The red room. Creepy. I like this. Really like this area. I can I can definitely see why that this is the one of the levels that they decided to show off at the press event that uh, we went to. Because the, the use of color is just so cool. Very striking in all of these areas. Okay, another little safe room. Quick save, please. Gosh, where am I? 223. It's on the next floor, apparently. More symbols. Can't go in these doors. Another map? No. Hi. 219. Is that going to be significant? Find the side of the pre-short ritual. Okay. Creepy. Creepy. <laughs> oh. A little safer. Right? Got the mask. What does this do? Ooh. Ooh. So we got a door now? Rehearsal room. Gathered before the play. This is where it began. Cool. So let's go ahead and do the case board here. Rehearsal room. Do the pre-show ritual once more. Another vision. Another idea. Cool. Oh, cool. Let's get this one going. Hmm. Why set up a play in a hotel. Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom. Did we summon the same thing? Tapped into something horrifying? It, it seemed like it was part of the play, but it wasn't. Does that sound crazy? You don't want to ask me about crazy, kid. <laughs> oh, haunted. haunted. Yes. That's a trope for a reason. Cool. Let's uh, change it to haunted then. Rehearsal room is haunted now. Play was using a ritual waking up a dark sleeper. <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Okay. Let's keep moving then. Got our new plot point. Should be able to get us through. Wow, hi. Oh, ouch. Hello? Alan, what's wrong? Sheriff's line. Let's go. Uh, ooh, how do I get in though? Locked. Ooh, hi. Hey, what's in here? First of all. <gasps> yes, yes. There he is. The, the scientist. That's it. <gasps> it's like he's looking for me. 
Obviously, this is connected to Control with the Motel Hotel Holiday Inn. So I'm curious to see where this connection meets. Oh, I need a key for 209. Got it. Okay, I really hope to get that. Really hope I can find that key. Let's see, do any of these doors work? If it has a please do not disturb, it seems like that's just not an option. Which is a very good way to tell the player like what doors you should and shouldn't check. Rather than like having it boarded up or something. <laughs> that's great. Um, it's a nice, nice detail. Ooh, is this it? 209, perfect. Get more of our pizza. Pizza! Ah, and there we go. We can follow the sheriff's line to 209. Don't touch me! Don't touch me! New map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. <laughs> heard you humming. I heard you humming again. Yeah, I... I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know the song you're humming. What is I it? I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old oh, sci-fi show. Got sci it, got it. Horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or it's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. Okay. Interesting. So new map. And some new details over here. It's a hidden meaning. Remember, so I think the green was new. The redheaded woman connected to Door. I know her. Where do I know her from? Her identity changes. Connected to polyhedrons. She will come for me? <laughs> and all the rest seems to be the same. All right, so good to see you, Mr. Breaker. Let's see what kind of goodies you've got for us. <gasps> Shoddy! And anything fun in here? Just a bathroom? Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, what about here? Oh, yeah. I'll take that, too. Uh, thank you, sir. All right, now we can keep moving on to the ballroom. Yeah, sweet. The ballroom, ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play. Quick save. Beep. And another key. Room 101? I'll hold on to that one. Let me look around first. Oh. A word of power. <laughs> word of stuff found. <laughs> cool. Mark all night, all nearby resources and points of interest on Wake's map. Expands Alan's inventory by one row? <gasps> That's a charge? Oh, these are, oh my gosh. Inventory, inventory, 100%. I mean, this seems like a much better option, but the inventory is such a good option. Such a better thing to have. Okay. Oh. Oh. Thought something was lighting up. I like the ballroom. This is cool. So this has a new plot board. Just perfect. Let's go and check it out. See what we can figure out in the ballroom. Let's do pre-show ritual first. Because I think this is where they were supposed to be performing. Aha. Aha. Okay, cool. So it doesn't seem like there's much else that's changed. So let's go back over and make it haunted. So this is where the ritual was done, I believe. Oh, yeah. I oh, recognized cool. my writer's room on the stage. I almost dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Cool. I said you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan? Alan Wake? 
I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. <laughs> mm, Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I the devil. With Casey on that. Okay, so I can change the plot board to add in the devil. Um, I have some insider information here, so uh, pardon me while I do a quick heal, because I know what's coming. <laughs> um, I'm going to stick with the pistol for now. Back to the plot board. Let's turn this into the devil. And the devil did what the devil does. This was dark, but the story had to be dark. Creepy. This is not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me. In his room, he will hurt her. Interesting. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's a lot. Ooh, ouchie. All right, come on, Alan. We got to move. We got to move, buddy. Oh, come on. Ooh, ooh. Who's going? Uh, you can say that again. Okay, so it seems like it's two headshots and anywhere else in the body will take down these guys. It doesn't need to be three exact. Three definitely helps though, unless I miss. <laughs> okay. Let's take another pain kill. Pain pill for the kills. And yeah, back to our pistola. Quick save. Sweet. All right. The devil himself. Which now there's a whole blood trail. This, ah, oh, this is great. And what did I get? Room key 101? So I need to get back down. What is this light leading me? Rehearsal room. Oh, can I change this to devil? Rehearsal room to the devil. reality seems about the same but uh there's some slight differences more oh, oh oh okay so we're continuing to follow blood trail as we change it to the double right i don't think i need to just shift it back do i okay more blood trail this is good this is good creepy oh Wait, is this where we just came from? <laughs> the reality of just shifting is always... Oh! He knocked me right into the save room. <laughs> okay, go back through here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good, this is good. I think, yep, I think I'm on the right path. Oh, hello. Ignoring you. Oh, oh, room 101. I need to find room 101. That's room 108. Uh, let's change this to the devil. Final scene. The devil. Yeah. Please do not disturb. Okay, so I need to find another element then first. And the blood trails leading us even further back. 111, 112. Oh, hi. No thanks. <laughs> no takes. Wait, where is room 101 then? Because I do have a key for that. How? 104, 105. 101. Here we go. Room 101 key. You're drowning. I'm drowning, is what the shadow just said. Summer, 
was an arch one. I must change my reality to escape. The writing has to be just right, just right, or else it'll all just wash away. Love it. Love, I love these little elements. They're so cool. So fun. Okay. Uh, goodies. So is this just like a little secret area? Give you some extra goodies? I think so. I think so. Awesome. Uh, how much does this heal? Full? Yeah, let's just do it. I, I, you know, I feel like I don't do it enough. All the healing stuff. So let's just keep, keep working. Pre-show ritual entrance hall? Is there another thingy here? No, just some strange shadows. Okay. Um, let's change the entrance hall to the devil now. The devil. Follow this blood trail again. Ooh. Oh, story, but I had to keep going. The devil's path up the staircase was draped in blood. Hi. Okay. You know what? Um, oh, what in the? <laughs> That's cool. That was cool. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Stop stabbing me. Ooh, ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, reload, reload, Alan. Please, please. Okay, I'm going in here, going in here, real quickly, very quickly, very quickly. Don't forget to use, yes, I know, do you save havens? That's what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, it's actually working. It's actually healing me. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, I really could use that big health pack now. It's fine, it's fine, everything's fine. Okay, that's good, and let's use a pain pill. Thank you, delicious, tasty. <laughs> Quick save. Dodge it, dodge it. What is happening? You <laughs> pinned me to the ground, get off of me. Yikes. Okay, I didn't know that they could do that to me. Oh, this is cool. Ah, okay. So this is, a, this is uh, as far as I've gotten in what I've initially played. So everything new from here on now is gonna be new for me. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Cool. How did I not get the right angle? Oh, it's just, it was just down here. <laughs> it was just down here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. Six, six, six. Of course. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Where is he? He's gone now. This is so cool. All right. Oh, ooh, ooh. All right, 666 this way. I, I like this part of the storyboard. This real creepy, ominous, bloody hallway. Kind of Shining-esque in the haunted hotel. Just in that aspect, not really too much else. 667, of course. Where's that room? 
that fateful room. 666. Scratch had been there. Cool. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Is that so? Let's talk. Okay. Let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. Alice. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. Got the devil it. comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene, executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him, meeting his muse. Turns out he knew her. It's gotta be Alice. He joined the plea to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay, we gotta move. <laughs> okay, I wish I could have explored more around here. But no. No, we gotta go. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh hi. Hello. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Get the fuck away from me. Can I go this way? <laughs> oh. Whew. Whew. <laughs> the dark presence had come for me on to the story I was writing as it grew darker. That was great. That was a great little sequence. Um, do I want to take anything out now? Because <laughs> I do have a lot more space. Let's just take everything out. Why not? Why not? There's a reason I did this. Perfect. Perfect. Let's change the murder victim. Plot element again. The final scene took place in room 108. Plotboard! Entrance hall. Climax. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh. I've had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. <laughs> Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of These are the two circle. officers. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. <laughs> Open and shut case. All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. Got it. Something going on in the alleyway. Okay. Anything new to look at? No. Alright, so we just need to get to room 108. The final, the final scene, in fact. Eh, uh, leave me alone. <laughs> Quick save. Where'd you go? Oh, you're right there. Okay. Wake. Hello. I'm going to go over here now. Thank you very much. So the final scene. Let's go ahead and click on the muse. Or, sorry, climax. The awful finale. The site of a ritualistic murder. The scene had changed. Ooh, cool. Whoa. The drowned lady. That's cool. Oh, oh that was cool. I love that. Vinyl? Oh, 
Lost on the shore, between the forest and the ocean, the owl and the deer, reflected in motion. In his room, he will hurt her. In hers, he is caught. His story ends. Her story does not. This is the ritual to lead you on. Your friends will meet him when you are gone. Huh. But what does it all mean? This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub beneath the body. Oh. So, oh, sorry. I'm going to cut him off. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. Saga. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we right. still trapped? We have the clicker. We can figure it out. You know about the clicker. She has the clicker. Can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find Return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Okay. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, You can write out. I'm excited to see the other sides of these conversations. Because it's very... It lasted only for a moment. Like very cut out. planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me. Helping me go deeper. Closer to escape, somehow. I had to trust her. Ah. Parliament Tower. Back to the tower, cool. I had cool. to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. Let's go. End of part. Okay. My goodness. All right. I am <laughs> so happy. So happy. Not only that this has been great. But also happy that I can finish this three chapter playthrough in under two hours. A miracle. This took me five hours on the last episode. Let's see uh, what it gives us here at the very beginning. Not really anything. Um, I can just quit the game from here. So this is great. This is great. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go back to the main menu. Exit to main menu, please and thank you. I think I'll switch back to Saga for the start of the next playthrough. And um, just a quick heads up, uh, this is uploading on Sunday, if I'm not mistaken. Should be Sunday. Uh, so tomorrow, Stardew Valley stream, so there's not gonna be any, any Alan Wake. And then the day after that is Halloween. Uh, I'm gonna be playing the little to the left Halloween update for Halloween, so. Uh, no Alan Wake for two days. I'll be right back though with it. And can't wait to continue on with this series. Um, and then I know a lot of people have been requesting I go back in and check out Pumpkin Panic. I uh, hope to do a little bit more with that here very soon, too. So thank you all so much for watching. I always really appreciate it. Uh, I've been seeing a lot of the comments and everything for the uh, first two videos, and uh, seeing people are very much enjoying this. I've got some people as well going back and watching my Control series to prep for this. They're waiting to start this so that they can kind of check out all the all the action from Control. Very excited for that. Um, I really do at some point. I probably won't do it for the channel, but um, I really do want to go back and play the DLC for Control that is all relating to Alan Wake that they ended up putting in for, for that game. But uh, yeah, thank you all so much for coming out for this. Always so excited. If you enjoyed this video, though, make sure you hit that like button. Leave a comment down below. Love to hear your thoughts and feelings on these. And if you're not already subscribed, consider doing so. Hit that bell notification that we know exactly when I'm uploading any new videos. And if you'd like to see any more content from me, welcome to follow me on any of my other socials, which are always listed in the description down below. But of course, that all being said, you all are awesome. You all are amazing. And I can't wait to see you all in the next video. Later.